Hey everyone, this is Larry with Today I Feel Like. Today I'm gonna show you how you can reveal hidden folders on your Mac and rehide them when you're done. I'll also show you a use case for why you might wanna do this. So let's jump into it and here we go. Okay, so here we are, I am on my Mac and I'm gonna open up this hard drive here which is my, uh, my working editing folder and we can see all the regular folders here. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit Shift Command period on my keyboard and now you're gonna see that we have these hidden folders that have shown up here that have contents in them. So now what you might wanna do with these, I don't know, but they're there if you wanna go through and look at them and to hide them again, all you do is hit Shift Command period and they will disappear again. Now let me show you one real world use case for doing this and this recently helped me out a lot. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and click on library and now from library, I'm gonna go down to application support and from here, I'm going to go to Adobe and from Adobe, I'm gonna go down here to where it says core sync and from core sync, I'm gonna go ahead and click where it says plugins and now right here where it says live type, I'm gonna click that and you can see it shows nothing, but if we use our, our secret to reveal hidden folders, we can go ahead and see we have folders in there. Now, right here where it says .r, if we click that, you'll see these are actually fonts. These are fonts that are available through, Adobe's, uh, through Adobe Fonts. And so if you wanted to actually add a font that's not available system-wide on your Mac and only available with the Adobe programs, you can actually go in here, find that font, and just copy it into your font book. It's really quick and easy. I'll do a separate video on how to get that whole thing up and working, but this is a real world use case for actually wanting to reveal, and then again, hide those hidden folders. All right, everyone, well, there you go. As we can see, it is very, very quick and easy to reveal and again, hide your hidden folders on your Mac. So if you are trying to dig in and really look for something that is maybe hidden into your system setting somewhere, this is a good way to go about trying to find it. So yeah, and one of the things that you can often find that aren't always out there for the for readily for your viewing are fonts because sometimes the fonts are a little bit hidden from you. So there you go. Anyways, there's nothing really to leave a link to, so I'm just gonna leave a link to uh, my Amazon page and all my social media contacts down below so you can reach out and say hello and see the other products and services I've reviewed over time. And I hope you enjoyed seeing this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up and please subscribe to this channel and follow me on Instagram. And I am Larry with Today I Feel Like. Thanks for coming back to see me. Come back and see me soon. And until next time, love, peace, and hair grease. Peace.